The workshop is being held at the Guyana School of Agriculture and it is being conducted by the United States Agency for International Development. The training is intended to address the need to examine how fertilizers are used and applied within the sector across the region. United States Ambassador to Guyana, Sarah Ann Lynch, gave the keynote address at the opening on Monday and noted that this training has been in the discussion stage for more than a year and she's pleased that it has come to fruition. The training on the efficient use of fertilizers, biofertilizers and nutrient management, which you're all at this week, are part of those plans to address food insecurity in the region. And we're also happy, very happy, that this effort will cover both classroom and field work, so many of you can focus on very practical areas. During the ninth summit of the Americas in June 2022, Caribbean leaders discussed the declining state of food security, and an action committee was formed between the United States of America and the Dominican Republic to develop short-term and long-term action plans to address the food security issue. Latin America and the Caribbean are the most food insecure places in the world, according to United Nations. This is a situation that the United States government has noticed, and in collaboration with our regional partners through the CARICOM Secretariat, intends to address and is already addressing. And to do so, we must fix deep vulnerabilities in our food systems. We must also make them more inclusive and sustainable. And we must ensure they deliver well being for the people that feed our societies. This is our collective neighborhood. According to Minister of Agriculture Zofikar Mustafa, fertilizer prices increased over the years due to several factors such as high energy prices, the Russian Ukraine conflict, and major exporters reducing export to safeguard domestic supply. As such, the government of Guyana has allocated over $1 million in subsidies to farmers and to date, over 22,000 farmers have been benefiting from the distribution of fertilizers. Biofertilizers function as a key player in sustainable agriculture by improving soil fertility, plant tolerance and crop productivity. Efficient use of nutrition can be achieved by the adoption of best nutrition management practices by selecting the right fertilizer product and applying the right amount at the right time and place to match plant needs and reduce nutrition losses. Several countries in the region, including Trinidad and Tobago, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, have already benefited from similar training exercises. This training will greatly benefit the country's food agenda and increase production yields. Minister Mustafa said the extension officers are an important link between the government and the private sector. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Lazina Yearwood.